Hey, welcome back to the channel. I am really glad you're here because today I'm gonna to show you a solution to a very common problem. If you have a tractor, you know that it's very difficult to carry any additional equipment with you. So today I'm gonna to show you the saw haul chainsaw carrier for tractors and side-by-sides. There are various kits available from saw haul, so check out sawhaul.com for your specific application. Now I have the kit for tractor mounting which mounts on the front end loader of the tractor. I also have the ROPS mount kit which works on side by sides or other equipment that has tubular ROPS. Regardless of what kit you get, it's going to come with all the hardware you need for easy mounting. I'm also installing the new SnapLock 360 base kit which allows you to rotate the saw once it's mounted making it even more convenient and more universal. This kit is pretty universal and fairly easy to mount. You have this heavy duty U-bolt and the base plate and you just mount it to the side of your front end loader. Now, my Kubota B2601 with the LA435 loader has a pin here on the side which kind of gets in the way. So I'm gonna take this pin out, move it to the inside of the loader bracket and that'll give me a nice flat surface to mount this. I'm going to have to work the loader a little bit just to take the weight off of this pin. Fortunately, there's a hole already in place back here, so it looks like these pins are made to be used on either the inside or the outside. The beauty of this snap lock base plate is that I could mount this on an angle where it's nice and flat and then I could pull this pin and rotate the base plate so that the saw sits straight up and down or wherever I want. But since it's easy enough to do, I'm going to move this pin too. That way I have this whole surface where I could mount this. Don't drop the nut. Do not drop the nut. I got it. That's it. All right, now I have a nice flat surface to mount this base plate. And this universal U-bolt is pretty long, so I may end up cutting off these extra threads. But for now, this can go right on just like this. Well, that's as far as I can go with that. 
My deep well socket's not deep enough, so I'm going to have to use a wrench to get the rest of it on. Now I'm just going to snug that up, and once everything's in place, I'll tighten it up. Very nice. Let's put the old Husqvarna 455 Rancher in place. There it is. Now with this snap lock system, if I needed to rotate the saw in a different direction, just pull the pin and there it is. So it gives you a little bit more versatility. But actually on this one, straight up and down, seems like it's going to work pretty well. If you have a keen eye, you might have noticed in one of the previous shots that the scabbard was reversed and these two holes were facing the outside. Now what these holes are for is for a scrunch. You can put a chain sharpening file on one side and keep those in there. Pretty handy. Now when it's facing out and the saw is in place, you wouldn't be able to put it in there like that. So I turned this around. I had to kind of finagle it in there because of this locking system, but it does work. And now let's put the saw back in. And that's great. My Mule Pro MX side-by-side -side is a little bit stubby. So when I mounted the saw haul on the ROPS, my door hits the scabbard. But that's where this snap lock rotating base is going to come in really handy because I can just pull this pin out and rotate it to the next position. I can use my door. This doesn't get in the way at all. But I can also rotate it in the other direction if I wanted to and where it'll just avoid the door there. So I have that option too. Really a nice feature. You may have noticed that you can order your saw haul in various colors so that you can color coordinate it with your equipment. I want to thank Saw Haul for sending these items to me today to try out here on the channel and demonstrate for you. If you go to sawhaul.com or gearhaul.com, you'll find these and other products that they've developed which are really handy. In fact, one of the latest is this magnetic cell phone holder that you can drop anywhere on your equipment, throw your phone inside, it has a nice clear plastic cover and it protects your phone, keeps it out of the way, keeps it out of your pocket. Really quite innovative. So thanks for watching today. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, I invite you to join us and I look forward to seeing you next time.